Well, you were right, Holmes. Oh, was I? You were dry on deck? No. No water in the lungs. Well, the body showed no cuts or lacerations. I know. Not even a bruise. It's amazing, Holmes. Downright uncanny. Of course, there was an advanced state of rigor mortis which concealed the condition. What condition? Well, practically every bone in his body was broken. Great Scott, is that what he died of? Well, I don't know how this trade, but this man was literally crushed to death. How? Well, that man was a giant, too, yet he was literally crushed like a fly. Well, there's one thing, Holmes, it certainly wasn't your little man. Well, hardly. It took a superhuman force to kill it. Not superhuman, my dear fellow. No? Th then what? Inhuman, Watson. Inhuman. Case of a diamond tooth. You know, although I don't really approve of this disguise business, I must say I've got a great knack for it. I always thought I had acting talent. Yes, yes, Watson. I'd say a bosun's mate, at least. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I still don't know what we're doing all dressed up like this. Well, from now on, we're a couple of unemployed mariners looking for berths aboard a ship. Oh. I say, Holmes, there's nothing um, illegal about this, is there? Oh, now, really, Watson, your lack of faith shocks me. Well, no, dear chap, I didn't... Yes, 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 quite, 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 quite. Now, Watson, when you found that diamond, did you happen to notice a pub in the vicinity of the river? A pub? Now, uh, let me see, uh... Well, not that I'd really notice one, you understand, but uh, there must be lots in the vicinity. Why don't we look for the closest? We'll do just that. Well, I still don't see, my dear chap, what we're doing. If we're successful, my dear fellow, we might even sail for Brazil. Brazil? Yeah. Oh, Brazil, I'd like that. <laughs> The sea's gone to the dogs these days, what with all this newfangled steam. Steam, now I ask you. Progress. Sales was good enough for me, old man. Sales is good enough for me. Even lads. No import, aren't you? I mean, it's a fierce thirst we got on this tonight, my darling. But what'll you be taking for it, Patrick? A pint of bitter? Mm, I'd like a pint of bitter. Well, a pint of mild for me, please, miss. This is such a pretty little car, and you can make it half and half. So, you trying to mix me up, sailor? Now, why would I be after doing that, my darling? What's hmm? You're sure this is the pub near where you found the diamond? I think so. It looks the same from the outside. What part you out of, mates? Shanghai, me old Shikari. Shanghai? I know it well, I do. I hear Butcher Jimmy's got himself sliced up. How is the butcher? The butcher? Well, well, we didn't stay very long in Bimport. We sort of... Rather popped in and <laughs> popped out. Why had I seen you before, sailor? Um, like you in here the other night for a pint? Who, me? <laughs> well, oh, well, I... Oh, uh, I suppose not. Regular tough that jet was. Oh, really? Drank his beer without spilling a drop. No. <laughs> but blimey, if you took off that beard, you'd be the spitting image of him. <laughs> if I took off my beard, <laughs> if I took off my... <laughs> What are you sailing for, mates? Well, you may believe it or not, but I've an inkling for Brazil. The Vasco da Gama sails for Brazil first thing tomorrow morning. Straight for Brazil? Ah, oh, it's straight. Star of the South sailing tomorrow morning, too. Put in a couple of days ago from Brazil. But she ain't going straight back. Puts in first in Antwerp, she does. Antwerp. Center of the diamond industry, Holmes. I wouldn't sail in the Star of the South, I wouldn't. Not under Captain Lancy. Uh, hard case skipper, is he? Oh, proper demon of a man. Slap me in irons as soon as bid you good day. What's this tooth Captain Lancer did the other night? Raised a regular fuss about it, looking everywhere. How could the blighter lose his tooth? Easy. Fell out. Lost me a lot of plate that way once. <laughs> yeah. Did he find his tooth? No. Couldn't find it nowhere. Hey, mate. What? Huh? Not you. You. Hmm? Been sailing long? Oh, well, oh, since I was a nipper, <laughs> cabin boy. 
say, mate. Uh, a word with you in private. I'd be careful of your pal there, mate. Ain't what he seems to be. He's in disguise. Look at them whiskers. Probably out to do you in. Thanks, me old boy. I'll take care of him. Patrick! Mm -hmm. We're going to see Captain Clancy decide on the start of the south. We'd better be off. Right you are, mate. Yeah, mate. Come on, Rosie, fill him up. What's the matter, Watson? The beard, it's dropped in the water. Never mind about that, come on. Yes, I know, but... Game below, Watson. You better stay on deck. No, I'm coming with you. Oh, there's an element of danger involved. What do you think there is up here? Yeah, perhaps you're right at that. What are we looking for, Holmes? The murder of Francisco Vargas. Vargas was killed in here? I'm beginning to think so. We'd better get out of here, Watson. We're in extreme danger. That, Mr. Holmes, is an understatement. Harkins! Only this morning, Watson, when it suited his convenience. At all other times, Captain Lancy of the Star of the South. I had an idea you'd be on my trail. They tell me you're a smart man, so I've been waiting for you. You're a clever man too, Captain. Quite ingenious. Tell me, did you plan to kill Vargas when you sailed from Brazil? Or did you do it on the spur of the moment? I'm not an impulsive man, Mr. Holmes. So you were prepared then when he came to collect the diamonds you'd smuggled in for him. How did you lure him down here? Would he expect me to hand over the diamonds where the crew might see us? You never kill Vargas. You're not strong enough. Aye. But ask your friend how I did it. He'll tell you. No good, Holmes. Both of it. Quickly, Watson. We've got to get out of here. Well, how? No, what? no, not that door. There's a cargo door behind those crates. Come oh, on. Let's get to it. Come on.
care, Watson. It'll help us move that crate. Nice piece of deduction you did, Holmes, but you know you really ought to have let the yard handle this case. In my present condition, I'm inclined to wish I had. How did you deduce that it was a bore? <laughs> Constrictor! <laughs> well, I could think of nothing else that would strangle a huge man like Vargas. The bore constrictor comes from South America, and both Vargas and the diamonds pointed to Brazil. You know, if Lancey hadn't lost that diamond tooth that he took from Vargas before he threw the body overboard... Ah, yeah, and if he hadn't been greedy and answered that advertisement... Yes, but he did lose the tooth, Watson, and he did answer the advertisement. Oh, Watson? Yes, Holmes? I must say, that was very quick thinking on your part in the ship. Hmm? Oh, well, you know, the time and men of action must, must step in. Not only think quickly, but act quickly. You, you know how it is. <laughs> oh, 